Hello everybody, thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly reading with me, Lorian. This is a general reading for all signs, it doesn't matter your rising, your moon, just for every single person out there, the general energies that are supposed to be coming through for this week, which is the 29th of August to the 4th of September. Wow, I honestly don't know where this year has gone, it's, it's, it's miraculous to me. And we'll be using the Earth Magic Oracle deck, which is something that I've been using in September readings um, on, the, on the website, and I will aim to have all the September readings on and live, certainly by the 4th, sorry, the 1st of September. And finally have a little bit of natural light um, coming from my window, it's been terribly dreary and dull, not a summer at all, um, so hopefully we'll get some nice things rather than having the awful artificial light that seem to come through. So, without further ado, let me take a look. As I said, this is a general reading, so if it is a personal reading that you'd like, you seem to want to come through. If it is a personal reading that you want, do go to my website, which is a link below. It'll take you straight to the readings page, and you can choose from there what information and what reading you would like to have from me. Okay, so I'm just going to shuffle. Also, as soon as you um, confirm the reading and I see the PayPal rece receipt, um, what will happen is that I'll put you in my queue and I'll confirm it with you. Okay. Ooh. That's very important. That is very important. Sorry, I just need to get another one because I just want to clarify it. Oh, mm -mm -mm. okay, let's take a look and see. So on the 1st of September, which is incredibly important, we have a new moon in Virgo, which is incredibly good. Um, but this is also a solar eclipse. Now, solar eclipses always occur at new moons, and they do mark renewal, they mark beginnings, they mark a lot of releasing and things like that. And with this one, especially with this one, um, this is basically opening a doorway. And I feel as though you are going to be releasing some things before you step out into the new. So whatever you've been working on this year, that's going to kind of slip away. We're going into the last three months. Was it three months? September, October. Four months, sorry. I can't really do math, I'm sorry. Um, we're going into the last four months of the year, year nine. And this kind of coincides and blends over and kind of bleeds into the first year. The first year kind of starts around October, November. This energy of building and actually creating something new that comes through and this is the perfect start into that phase as this doorway kind of opens we will catch a glimpse of what's in store from us from now on maybe to February next year so I feel that this is going to be something incredibly important this week with the new moon eclipse on the Wednesday on the Wednesday this is going to be incredibly important for you all um, we've got a lot of potential coming through here. Earth magic, I felt the need to do for quite a while. Um, let me just have a look and see now. This week is going to be very different to the one we've experienced because um, the eclipse week, because we've had a lot of potential coming through. This is basically saying count your blessings, and you will see more of what's to come. You will always have an inkling of what you're meant to be doing but I do feel that in this week you may have more psychic energies coming through especially if you can meditate on the Wednesday I feel that would be pretty good um, or just light a candle again this could actually open up a doorway for you a new energy and it may be it may take you a while to really understand where the energy is taking you but this is very important this is the perfect time to tune into the wisdom and the blessings of the universe and also to that which is around you, the kind of little subtle things that come through to you now and again during the course of the week. So I think this is incredibly important. And this can kind of come in and sort of say, oh, hang on, you know, if you um, get a gut instinct and you have to say, no, we've got to turn left instead of right, it could be that simple and it could take you on a different path. Because after the solar eclipse has passed, this is actually taking us into a new moon. Uh, sorry, a full moon, 
Okay, okay, my moon's picked up into a full moon on the 18th, I believe, of September. And this is actually coming through with a very big effect. So this energy is going to last. And after, you know, a solar eclipse or any eclipses, we still get six months of it. And I feel this is very important to February as well. Because this is kind of saying, everybody knows, or everybody should know at least, the stories about this is the year that's been the hottest uh, globally even though the weather hasn't been the hottest maybe for some of us um the temperatures have been really ridiculous and i feel that the earth doesn't know what she's doing we had snowdrops um and daff sorry we had daffodils in january in the uk now normally they come out in march late march april but they were coming through in january saying oh yes it's nice and warm yeah it's been the winter now and then they got frozen in february march because the winter came. Now, Earth does not know what the heck it's doing. And I feel that we need to kind of focus on that a little bit. This, I think, may be a week where people get more aware of um, what's actually happening to the environment around them and what it kind of is they're experiencing. So I feel this is very important. Also, bluebells, for some reason, are coming through with this too. I feel if you lit a candle, you would be able to um, kind of put two and two together and say, look, I want to raise my energy, but also give back. And maybe try and do some kind of energetic giving to the earth and try and heal it some way. Because what you give out, you receive. And I think sometimes you have to be open to doing that. But for the most part, it seems that this is going to come through, basically. And yeah, let me just have a look. The bre the release here, I feel, is understanding where the old has taken you or the where the old has brought you and you don't need it anymore. You can release that. It's almost like you may have seen a repeated pattern, like just kind of going over and over again in the news in your personal life, but it's kind of like a resistance against change and a resistance against acceptance and I feel that people are going to start releasing that energy I also feel here this is very important for you energetic wise so it could be to do with you deciding to finally release the grief you've held over somebody important in your life now it's not to say that you're going to forget them it's not going to say that you're not going to still think about them but it's just the grief that you hold you're going to go okay i am free to be me now and it can't go into next year you can't carry on into year after year this is the last one it has to be released i feel that you may have seen almost like a theme but on a personal level this aspect may have actually helped you to know who to trust, how to trust, what you believe, and I feel that this is kind of you gently sweeping, sweeping away maybe some kind of um, rose tinted glasses as to how things are coming through here, because I do feel that although there are a lot of things to do with an eclipse feeling very harsh energy and having a lot to do with that, this is kind of a you know, Virgo, you know, is incredibly generous anyway, and I feel it is going to slip it away, and it is going to be more to do with what you want to do, where do you want to go, and just kind of making that change, but the breach here seems to be very much important in that as well, it seems to come forwards and have a lot of potential in the regards to, um, taking a breath you've been submerged for so long you've been down in the depth of the water and your emotions and everything like that now you have to come up and go right and breathe and kind of breathe he's the heaviest mammal on earth is he mammal i can't remember whatever he is the whale is a very deep emotional energy and to haul that energy up and out and take a breath and see the sky and just have a lot of you know perspective it's a completely different world above than it is below and i think maybe that is kind of ascertaining to or pertaining to um, the witchy thing because it's as above as below so maybe you have to understand and kind of breach through some sort of emotional top that you've been keeping under wraps breach that let it go let it fall away from you and then you'll be able to move forwards this week i feel it's important to keep your friends close this week and I feel it's very important to understand that you are not alone in various things but for the most part I do believe this this eclipse is paving the way for a new energetic cycle I feel this is 
This is very different to the one I think that we had earlier on in the year. This is gentler, but also more revealing. There will be less confusion, like, oh, what the heck am I doing? You'll know. You'll know precisely what you have to do. And again, I feel that it may take you a month to understand it and come to grips with it, but you're definitely getting to a place where you know what you're meant to be doing, which is good for year one, because then you can build on that. And I think this is all very serendipitous. And this is going to really come through for you in that way. But to be honest, it's a good week. I don't see anything negative here. I mean, you may have a few negative people who are resisting the change, but I don't see anything like that here for you. Overall, really good week. Do let me know how it goes for you all. And again, if you'd like a personal reading, just head to the link below and I'll be happy to do one for you. In the meantime, I look forward to reading for you all soon. Take care of yourself and the September reading should be up very shortly to round off this wonderful, wonderful month. Take care, everybody.